I was trying to figure out somewhere to put my notes and figures and everything on metabolism in a more centralized place. And surprisingly, no one had the domain metabolicnotes.com. And so I went ahead and I put a bunch of outlines and figures. And so like if you go and you can look at glycolysis, you see all the key steps kind of the logic, things like this, their bypasses, regulation, fermentation, and then I have the figures, and then the videos that are associated with it. And so I also have, so basically core metabolic principles, you can see all that. Then I'll put the glycolysis, regulation, citric acid cycle, shuttles, what can and can't come in, that sort of thing. So kind of like focusing on the key points about metabolism, amino acid, lipid and ketone bodies. And so it just basically has my content in a on metabolism in a more centralized format and the outlines that I like give my students and stuff. And so I'll keep working on this. So right now I only have like a single page other than the, the home page. And it's definitely a work in progress, but hopefully this is helpful to someone. And now I can have somewhere I can refer to student, students to when it's like, oh, what's it, they have a question about a certain thing. Oh, well, there they just go to this tab. And so it also makes it easier to find my metabolism graphics and stuff. And so I put it on a new website instead of the Bumbling Biochemist blog itself because it was like I kind of stuck in a form in a template for my blog my theme for my my main blog that is not was not being very friendly for trying to trying to put this in a more formatted way and so hope this helps you hope this helps my students and happy learning metabolism it really should be fun it doesn't have to be scary and so part of what i have is some guidance for like interpreting metabolic pathways and things and keep key principles to keep your mind eye on when you're doing all of this so as always hope it helps